another Dylan Taylor breakfast. Let's get into the video. So guys, I've decided today's video is probably going to be how to find other vloggers. Now I made a video in the past like about how I find other small YouTubers, but this video is going to be a little bit different in the sense that I'm going to be showing you guys how to find other vloggers instead of YouTube, just YouTubers. It's, it's a little bit different, but you could use this method to find any other small YouTuber. It's just, it's going to be more specifically towards vloggers. So a question you might have is why would I want to find small YouTubers? Why would I want to find small vloggers? And the reason is so that you can collab with them, so that you can share your viewers with their viewers and maybe end up cross-pollinating some of those viewers and some of your viewers might subscribe to them and some of their viewers might subscribe to you and it boosts both of you up. So what you're gonna wanna do is find people that are kinda around the same, around the same subscriber range as you or find somebody that's in a completely different niche than you that you can really help them out with if they have a lot more subscribers than you. So if somebody has 50,000 subscribers and you have a thousand, they're probably not gonna wanna collaborate with you unless you're doing something absolutely crazy stellar that they want to be the one that's going to share that with the world. They think that you're absolutely amazing and they want to help you grow your channel. So that's not likely going to be the case. None of us are that great at anything when we're starting YouTube. So the likelihood that you're that amazing at making videos and sharing things right at the beginning is kind of low. So that's probably not going to be the way it's going to happen. So you're going to find people that have around the same subscriber range as you. So before we get too far into this video, I want you guys to pause it, go down below into the comments and type out what kind of channel you have and what kind of videos you make. And then how often you make videos. We want to know what your channel looks like. We want to know what your channel's about, how long you've been doing it, and how often you upload videos. Those are the three most important things. I want to see those in the comments, and hopefully we can all make some new friends. Boom, guys, it has been 12, 13 hours since I actually started this video when I said, you know guys, I'm going to show you how to find other small YouTubers, specifically vloggers. And I've recorded a few different videos today other than that, and they're all talking videos and they're bugging me. Like, I can still make them pretty good, and they're full of knowledge and stuff, but they're not quite as much fun as, you know, fire golf off a cliff. You know what? I need to just do something crazy like that again. So I'm going to show you how to do this probably on my computer. I think I could do that. Yeah, just let me, let me close up all these tabs here. Open in new window. Basically, what you're going to want to do, and I don't have OBS, like I don't have a screen recorder yet, so you guys are going to have to deal with this, but just click on YouTube, open that up right there, and then you're gonna have all of this. Now you wanna find new vloggers, so what you're gonna wanna type in is, I do golf vlogs, golf videos, so let's type in G-O-L-F, golf vlogs, right? Type that in, punch it in, and you're gonna get, you know, a lot of videos that have a lot of views, and they're gonna be from bigger channels that you're probably not gonna be able to collaborate with. So what you're going to want to do is hit filters, you're going to want to go to upload date right here. This is what's important and you want to go to today. And if that doesn't give you any videos, go to this week. But you see this right here? This guy, Golf Vlogs UK, okay, well, alright. He's got a video that came out five hours ago, or sorry, eight hours ago and it's got 500 views. So this guy has uploaded recently. Now what we can do is we can watch his video and if you like it, yay, cool. And already it looks interesting, right? Look, we got his faces up here stuck on the windshield. That's pretty funny. So then we go to his channel down here and then we're like, you know what? Wow, you know, watch this. And maybe this is a good channel trailer and then boom, you know, you like his channel, you subscribe to him and then he's a small channel too. So he's probably got, you know, a thousand subscribers like this and you might have a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, maybe you only have 400. But whatever it is, you find a new channel like this, you go and you watch a bunch of his videos, you learn about him, and you comment on all those videos that you watch. Make sure that you comment. If you watch a whole video, comment on it, okay? Comment something like, hey, I saw this in the video, I liked it. And what that's gonna do, let this refocus to away from the yellow because I don't like the yellow. Ready? And no more yellow, okay. So what you're gonna wanna do is comment on any video that you watch. If you watch a video and you watch the whole thing, if you watch a part of it, comment something that you saw. Be like, haha, I like that joke about this because somebody else might not have seen that joke and they see that you like, like you commented that and they're like, hey, I'm gonna go back and watch it. They find the joke, they laugh, they like you for it. So this YouTuber is gonna see that you commented on all the videos that you watch. You watch 10 of his videos, just comment something that you liked about the video in every one of the videos and he's gonna see, Hey, this name's popping up a whole bunch. Hey, they're, you know, they're giving feedback. This is good, even if it's not good feedback. If it's if it's negative feedback, but it's it's 
constructive feedback. Like it's something like, hey, you know, your thumbnail isn't the greatest on this video. I think it could have been this picture like this and it would have been amazing, but I love the video. So I wish other people could see it. It's just, I think the thumbnail needs to be better so that, you know, the other people can find it. Things like that. So that's how we found a new channel. I am going to follow this guy in a minute. I'm gonna check his stuff out because it already looks funny. So I will be adding that guy and who knows, maybe do a collaboration with him. So that's how you add other people. Let's do another one real quick. So basically this is the whole vlog thing and you can find anybody making any kind of YouTube videos by doing this, but let's go on over here and type in mountain bike vlogs. So if you're making vlogs about mountain biking, make sure that mountain bike vlogs is one of your tags so that people can find you like this. So you go to filters here, and if you don't go to filters and you, you look at it here and you're like, oh, you know, wow, 67,000, 50,000 views, and they ne don't necessarily have a lot of views, right? Like, you know, 50,000 views isn't entirely that much on YouTube, but you get the point, right? We want to find people that are making videos recently, so we want to go to today is what we want. Filters, go to today. We got five hours ago, 535, sick biker, right? Oh, I love this race, how to compete on a tough course. So, okay, so it's a race about a tough course. Okay, and then we can come down here. Look, Sway's got, two hours ago, made a video, mountain bike, three minutes long. You could go on a Sway's video and just watch it. Like, okay, so you know that it's not getting any views, so there's probably not anybody watching Sway's stuff. But then you go over here, he's got 27 subscribers. Well, you know, maybe there's not even that many people that want to watch it. Maybe it's not that great. But we click on it and we watch it. You know, okay, so we got some drain fo drone footage. Nice music, nice edits. So you just, you watch it, you see what it's like. Now, if you're watching some of these videos like this, I don't suggest you skip through it, but if it's not super exciting, you can skip through it, see some parts that you like, you know, see what the, you know, the, the settings are, see how good, what quality the video is. And basically what you're gonna wanna do is comment on that video, watch it, give some kind of advice or some kind of feedback, whether it's good, bad, even the videos that have no views that were posted an hour ago because that person probably isn't expecting anybody to comment. And then when somebody brand new comments, something that's positive like that, they're gonna be like, wow, that was really nice. And then they're gonna wanna watch your stuff. They might not even wanna watch your stuff, but they might go and look at your channel and be like, hmm, I wonder who this is. So it's even good to go and watch videos on people that have no views. And then you can go back to that same search list and you could go watch the one that has 500 views and be like, Wow, this is really cool, I like this guy. Maybe you have find a new favorite YouTuber. That's exactly what you wanna do. But you go to that and just, I've only ever done it a few times and I found so, so many awesome people that way. I found Gary's Wears, Derek Jinx. I found, I can't think of any other names right now, but I found so many people that way. Finding small YouTubers that I could talk to, that I could collaborate with. And honestly, I get so distracted doing that that I only find like two or three people. It's the first two or three people that I even look at. Like, I could dig so deep and find so many people so fast if I really tried. And I haven't even done that. But I found so many people like that. So if you guys want to grow your audience, grow the people that you could subscribe to, grow the collaborations that you could create, go and find people the way I just showed you how. And vloggers, you know, it might not necessarily find a vlog, you might go through 15 channels before you find one vlogger that's posting all the time. I guarantee you, you'll be happy you found them. Because that's someone new that you could collaborate with, that's someone new that can help motivate you, that's someone new that you can motivate, that's someone new on your contact list that might have a different skill than you, that might have different knowledge than you, that's someone else that you could talk to. That's just broadening your ability to find things that you could do to help grow your channel, to help and do whatever you want to do. Guys, you just want to network, you want to find as many contacts as you can and be as positive as possible and it will all pay off, I guarantee you of that. That's gonna be it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching, if you're new, please subscribe, if you're already subscribed, share this video with a friend and as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. This is part of the 60 days in 30, sorry, this is a part of the 60 videos in 30 days challenge with my other channel. You have not seen it, Dylan's DIY workshop, all kinds of making projects. I teach you guys how I made this guitar right here that's hanging up on the wall from scratch. All kinds of different things up there. Go check that out, please, please, please. Thank you guys so much. I love you all. Peace out.